In this video, I want to show you how to grade students watching videos. In my classroom, I use videos all the time to teach my students. Whether you're using a flipped classroom or you just use video tutorials or you just have videos for content, this is a great tool that you can use to grade your students and see how they're understanding the video or understanding the content taught in the video. This is a website, edpuzzle.com. You can go through and if you're new, you just click Teacher Start Now and it gives you a great tutorial showing you how to add quizzes, uh, change audio, and even crop video inside of your video assignments. I've already created an account, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. And I'm going to log in as a teacher. I'm going to use uh, Google. Our school uses Google Apps for Education, so I'm going to log in with my school Gmail account. Now what I want to do is create a video assignment where my students have to answer questions while watching the video. To do this, I can come up to my content. I can find a video. Now I have uploaded a video to YouTube. So I'm going to find this video. I've copied and pasted the URL. I click find. It shows me the video results. Now I can look at this video and I can actually crop it by dragging these red uh, flags and to crop it. I know I talk a little bit too much at the beginning of my video so I'm going to go ahead and crop this to 10 seconds. You could actually hit play and watch the and video to see where you need to crop it. I already know where I need to crop it so I'm going to go ahead and start it at 10 seconds. I don't want the students to go to the end because they at the end I talk a little bit too much in the video. So I'm going to go ahead and crop it to this amount of time. I can add a new audio track but that will replace the entire audio track. In this case the audio is just fine because it has the instructions that I want. I could add in some audio notes but I'm going to ignore that for right now. The part I really like is I can come over here to quizzes. So if I click on quizzes this green playhead comes up down here and I can drag this to different segments by dragging this triangle and when I have the triangle stop at one location. For example, if I have it stop right here, I click on the green question mark. This changes up over here so I can have a question. I could have an open question. So this question just asks what the name of the tool is to see if they even paid attention to the beginning of the video. I can then go through, find another spot. You can see there is a path here. Here I demonstrate a shortcut key using control and Y. I could see if the students caught that by adding another question by clicking on the green question mark. And then coming up here, I can even make a multiple choice. I can add in my correct answer here. I can add more answers simply by clicking. To choose the correct answer, all you do is make sure the green checkbox is checked off to have it be correct. You can even add in feedback if they get the answer correct or incorrect. So you can switch between the feedback and the question. So in this case, if they get the question wrong, there's going to be feedback. I'm going to click Save. Now if I wanted a comment somewhere on the video, on that path to match what for example right here if I wanted a comment I could also add a comment here. This doesn't require them to make a change or an answer. You can even add images um, but this just is a comment that shows up. I'm going to ignore that for right now and when I am finished with this I can save this and I can come back and edit it. If I'm completely done and I'm ready to share it with my class I'm going to save this right now. It saves the edits I've made but I can click finish and now it's going to allow me to share or assign this with a class. Now I could share with anyone. I could also share this with my specific class. I've set up a classroom uh, using Google Classroom. And so I have this set up. I can turn on prevent skipping. What skipping does is it prevents the students from dragging the playhead forward and watching to the end. It does allow them to go backwards or once they've watched the entire video, they can drag the playhead anywhere in the video. It's a great feature to have to make sure that your students watch the entire video as well as to prevent them from skipping to the end to get the answers. Once you have that set up, you simply click send. It's going to send this assignment to your students. Your students will then see the assignment show up inside of Google Classroom.
Even though it says send to classroom, the best way I have found is if you click on assignments, go to post. When you post to Google Classroom, you can choose where you're going to assign the ass create assignment. You click go. Students will see the link inside of their Google Classroom. They go to the link. It will ask them to log in. They log in as a student. They also use their school Gmail account. Then they watch the video. Works. I'm going to go ahead and select the blob tool. Notice how the video pauses and they have to answer their question. They cannot drag the playhead forward. It is locked until they answer this question. If they are unsure, they can click rewatch, or if they think they're okay with the answer, they hit submit and then continue, which is right here, and the playhead continues playing. The blob brush, and I'm going to draw something with my blob brush. What the blob brush does is it actually creates an outline. Now, if the student tries to skip ahead to the next question, it is locked. But if the student decides to go backwards, they can go back and watch different areas they missed. Outline of whatever it is I've drawn. If I press Control Y, you can. See now a question comes up, and it's a multiple choice question. The student can press the correct answer. If they hit, hit submit, a green checkbox will come up if it is correct. A red box will come up if it is incorrect. In this case, I'm going to choose a correct and an incorrect answer. The green arrow comes up pointing to the correct answer. And it gives the feedback if you had checked the other answers. So you can see this is not correct because I was only supposed to choose this answer, not all of these answers. So the student could click rewatch. They are not able to retake the quiz, but they are able to rewatch to see why that is the correct answer. So in this case, let's go ahead and click rewatch, which is right here, the blob brush. And I'm going to draw something with my blob brush. What the blob brush does is it actually creates an outline of whatever it is I've drawn. If I press Control Y, you can see. Let's say the student gets to this point and they're still unsure. They can rewatch right this here. as many times as they the want. Blob brush. And I'm going to, I'm going to, of whatever it is I've drawn. If I press Control Y, you can see that. And so they can continue if they feel that, okay, now they understand the concept. See, there's a path here. I'm going to press Control Y. Let's say I go back and I realize, you know, I wanted a little bit more in my blob than that. I'm going to turn it into the letter H. I'm not going to watch the entire video, but you can see how you could post a question different points throughout the video to keep the students paying attention, as well as to keep them getting to the end. Now, the great thing is, after the students are done watching the video, they log out, they're done, and then they go their way. But you as a teacher, what you can do is you can see the results of their video. So I'm going to log back in as a teacher. I can go to the assignment. I can see it's been 100% completed. I can look at the progress of the completed. Here you can see where I did a sample. I just tried it to see how it worked. Here you can also see this one. If I click on the name of the student, it tells me that it was watched. This segment was watched two times. This segment was watched one time. So it measures how much a student watched this. It shows me the answers of what the student watched. And I can go through each of the different students to see what their answers were. Now, if it is an open question, for example, question one, I can choose whether or not it is correct or incorrect to adjust their score. You can click back. And so you can see the progress of this. I think the gradebook and the progress is still a work in progress by this company. The gradebook, in fact, is not posted yet. It is planned to be posted in, at the beginning of the 2016-2017 school year. But as you can see, this is a great way where you can assign videos to your students, maybe in a flipped classroom model. Maybe you assign the, a video before uh, they come to class. They have to watch the video and answer the questions. And then when they come to class, they can work on the assignment with you to help them. Uh, maybe you use this just to see if they're understanding or to make sure that they're following along. This is a great tool for 
enhancing video that you use in your classroom to make sure that the video is a powerful learning tool and not just a one-sided lecture that the students receive. I hope this video has been helpful and that you're able to go through and explore this website. Uh, I'm still new to this website, Edpuzzle, but I can see the potential and I'm very excited to see the different things that I can do this year uh, using Edpuzzle. Have a great day.